Decluttering is all about getting rid of things you don't need to make your life simpler and less stressful. It's a key part of minimalism, which means living with fewer possessions and focusing on what truly matters. Many people are now turning to this lifestyle to find peace in a busy world. When you declutter, you're not just cleaning up your home, you're also clearing out mental and emotional clutter. Having fewer things to worry about can lead to less stress, more focus, and a greater sense of calm. A tidy space often creates a tidy mind. Minimalism comes in many forms. Some people embrace extreme minimalism, living with only the bare essentials. In this video, I'll show you 12 simple methods to declutter your life. Whether you're just starting your minimalist journey or looking to take it further, these tips will help you create more space for what matters most. Number one, the KonMari method, keep only what sparks joy. The KonMari method, created by Marie Kondo, is a popular way to declutter. The main idea is simple, only keep things that spark joy. When you go through your items, you should hold each one and ask yourself if it makes you feel happy or serves a meaningful purpose. If it doesn't, it's time to let it go. This method is more about how you feel about your things than just getting rid of stuff. It helps you focus on what truly matters and what brings you happiness. By keeping only the things you love, your home becomes a place filled with positive energy. The KonMari method is perfect for anyone who struggles with emotional attachment to their belongings. It's a gentle way to start your minimalist journey by keeping items that have value and letting go of everything else. Number two, the 90-90 rule, evaluate your usage. The 90-90 rule is a simple way to decide what to keep and what to let go of. It works like this. Look at each item and ask yourself if you've used it in the last 90 days. If you haven't, then ask if you'll use it in the next 90 days. If the answer to both questions is no, it's a sign that you probably don't need it. This method helps you think practically about your possessions. Sometimes we keep things just in case, but often those items just take up space. By using the 90-90 rule, you can clear out things you don't regularly use and make room for what's important. It's especially helpful for those who want to embrace minimalist living but aren't sure where to start. The 90-90 rule makes it easier to let go of things without feeling overwhelmed. Number three, the one in, one out rule. The one in, one out rule is a simple way to keep clutter from building up. The rule is straightforward. Whenever you bring a new item into your home, you must get rid of one old item. For example, if you buy a new shirt, you donate or throw away an old one. This rule helps you control how many things you own and keeps your space from becoming crowded. It encourages mindful buying because you know something must go out if something comes in. This method is perfect for people who want to maintain a balanced, clutter-free home without going to extremes. By following the one-in, one-out rule, you can easily manage your belongings and enjoy a simpler, more organized life. Number four, digital decluttering, clean up your devices. Digital decluttering is all about organizing and cleaning up your electronic devices, such as your phone, computer, and tablet. Over time, we collect hundreds of apps, files, emails, and photos that we don't really need, and this can cause stress and distraction. Start by deleting apps you don't use and organizing your files into folders. Clear out your email inbox by unsubscribing from unwanted newsletters and deleting old messages. It's also helpful to limit screen time and remove apps that waste your time, such as social media. Digital clutter can make your mind feel as messy as physical clutter, so organizing your devices can create a sense of peace and focus. Digital minimalism isn't just about having fewer things on your phone. It's about reducing distractions and staying focused on what really matters in life. Number five, the 10-minute declutter, small steps for big changes. The 10-minute declutter is a simple and easy way to start decluttering without feeling overwhelmed. The idea is to set aside just 10 minutes a day to tidy up one small area of your home. You can focus on a drawer, a shelf, or a corner of a room. By working in short bursts, you can make progress without feeling tired or frustrated. Over time, these small efforts add up to big changes. This method is perfect for busy people or anyone who finds decluttering difficult to begin. It's a gentle approach to minimalist living, showing that you don't need to do everything at once. With just 10 minutes a day, you can slowly but surely create a more organized and clutter-free space. Number six, 
Capsule Wardrobe Simplifying Your Closet A capsule wardrobe is a small collection of clothing that includes only essential and versatile pieces. The idea is to keep a limited number of clothes that you really love and can mix and match easily. This way, you reduce the time and effort spent deciding what to wear each day. Start by choosing a few basic items, like jeans, t-shirts, and jackets, that can be paired with each other for different looks. You'll focus on quality over quantity, picking clothes that are comfortable and last longer. A capsule wardrobe helps you avoid having a cluttered closet full of clothes you rarely wear. It's a great way to simplify your life and embrace a minimalist lifestyle. Not only will your wardrobe feel organized, but you'll also save money by buying less and being more mindful of your fashion choices. Number seven, sentimental decluttering, letting go of emotional clutter. Sentimental decluttering can be one of the hardest parts of simplifying your life. We often hold on to items because of the memories they carry, like old letters, gifts, or childhood keepsakes. While these things may be meaningful, they can take up space and add emotional weight. One way to manage this is by keeping only a few special items that truly matter. You don't have to hold on to everything. For items you want to remember but don't need to keep, consider taking photos of them before letting them go. This way, you still have the memory without the physical clutter. Letting go of sentimental items can help you move forward, focusing on the present rather than holding on to the past. By decluttering your emotional attachments, you create space for new experiences and memories in your minimalist lifestyle. Number eight, the 30-day minimalism game. The 30-day minimalism game is a fun and easy way to start decluttering. Here's how it works. On day one, you get rid of one item. On day two, you get rid of two items and so on. By the end of 30 days, you will have removed 465 items from your home. This method turns decluttering into a challenge, making it feel less like a chore and more like a game. You can even play with a friend to stay motivated. The gradual increase in items makes it easier to let go of more as time goes on. The 30-day minimalism game is perfect for people who want to declutter step by step, creating a cleaner, more organized space in just a month. Number nine, extreme minimalism, living with the bare essentials. Extreme minimalism takes minimalist living to a whole new level. It's about reducing your belongings to only the absolute essentials, meaning you live with very few items. This could include only having one or two outfits, minimal furniture, and no extra decorations. The goal is to live simply, without distractions, and focus on what really matters. While this lifestyle isn't for everyone, extreme minimalism can offer a sense of freedom. With fewer things to worry about, there's less stress and more time to focus on experiences, personal growth, and relationships. It challenges you to really think about what you need versus what you want. This method is ideal for people who feel weighed down by too many possessions and want to live with as little as possible. It's a bold step toward a simple life where you prioritize experiences over things. Number 10. Create Declutter Zones – Focused Organizing Creating declutter zones is an easy way to stay organized and avoid feeling overwhelmed by the task of decluttering. Instead of trying to clean up your whole home at once, break it down into smaller zones or areas. For example, you can start with your bedroom closet, then move to the kitchen, and finally, your living room. By focusing on one zone at a time, decluttering becomes more manageable and less stressful. Set a deadline for each zone to keep yourself on track and stay motivated. This method helps you stay organized and makes the process of decluttering feel less overwhelming. It's perfect for people who prefer a step-by-step -step approach to creating a cleaner, more minimalist space. Number 11, buy less, experience more, the shift to experiences over things. A key part of minimalist living is shifting your focus from owning things to enjoying experiences. Instead of buying more items like clothes, gadgets, or decorations, you can invest your time and money in experiences that create lasting memories. This could mean going on a trip, spending time with loved ones, learning a new skill, or simply enjoying nature. Research shows that experiences bring more long-term happiness than material possessions. Things can wear out or lose their appeal, but memories of meaningful experiences last much longer. By choosing experiences over things, you reduce clutter in your home and enrich your life in more meaningful ways. 
This shift is a powerful way to embrace minimalism and live more intentionally, focusing on what truly brings joy and fulfillment without accumulating unnecessary stuff. Method 12, the art of saying no, simplifying your commitments. Decluttering isn't just about physical items. It also applies to your time and commitments. Learning to say no to things that don't align with your priorities is a key part of living a simpler, more intentional life. Whether it's extra work projects, social events, or unnecessary obligations, saying no helps you focus on what truly matters. By reducing your commitments, you create more space for activities that bring joy and fulfillment. It also reduces stress and helps you avoid feeling overwhelmed by a busy schedule. The art of saying no may feel difficult at first, but it's essential for simplifying your life. It allows you to take control of your time and energy, giving you more freedom to enjoy the things that are most important to you while staying true to a minimalist lifestyle. Decluttering your life and embracing minimalism is a powerful way to create more space, reduce stress, and focus on what truly matters. Minimalism isn't about getting rid of everything, but about keeping what adds value and joy to your life. It allows you to focus on experiences, relationships, and personal growth rather than material possessions. Now is the perfect time to start your minimalist journey. Choose one of these methods, take action, and begin creating a simpler, more meaningful life today. Small changes can lead to big transformations. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.